Now to our top story tonight. There are efforts to destroy the van used in the murder of Jessica Herringa and Rebecca Bletch. The silver minivan owned by Jeffrey Willis was the first break in the Herringa case. Today, a hearing was held in Muskegon. News 8's Heather Walker is in the newsroom with why the prosecution wants to make sure that that van is never driven again. Heather. That's right. The iconic minivan has been locked up in an undisclosed location. Muskegon County Prosecutor D.J. Holson says that storage fees now more than $100,000. And now that Willis has exhausted his appeals, with the exception of getting a new trial, the prosecutor and the sheriff's office want to end those storage costs, which taxpayers will have to cover. The silver minivan. For years, this grainy image was the only substantial evidence in the disappearance of Jessica Herringa, a beloved employee at the Norton Shores gas station where she went missing. Witnesses saw the van pull up behind the gas station, park, and then take off. Three years later, thanks to a brave teen who escaped this van, Jeffrey Willis and his van were taken into custody. But not before investigators say the van was used in the murder of Rebecca Bletch and Jessica Herringa. Inside were syringes, a gun, sex toys, rope, and handcuffs, among other things. That was the vehicle he was in when he abducted Jessica. That was the vehicle he was in when he stopped on the side of the road and tried to abduct my sister. And, you know, then later shot her on the side of the road and he fled with that vehicle. This vehicle should not be driven by anybody else. It should not see another light of day. It should be destroyed. Today, prosecutors asked a judge to grant the authority to destroy the minivan. But the judge says he's unsure if he has that authority and asked both the prosecution and Willis to write a brief. Why does Jeffrey Willis still have any rights to anything that he owns? Willis is serving two life sentences. He will never be able to drive that van again. Normally, vehicles taken in as evidence are auctioned off after the owner is convicted. However, in this case, the prosecution and the sheriff's office want to make sure it's never used again. I, I, I wouldn't want to get in that vehicle. Who in their right mind would want that vehicle? You know, and if it does go that far, I want to purchase that van and destroy it myself. The briefs are due in the next few weeks. Then a judge will make a decision. We will keep you posted. At the live desk, Heather Walker, News 8.